Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is the Simple Basket Weave Stitch. It's stitch number 238 and all my Stitch of the Week patterns are available on my website creativegrandma.net. Just go to the website, click on the top where it says Stitch of the Week, takes you right to the page, shows you all the Stitch of the Week. They're available for free immediate download right to your computer. Now this is just a simple pattern. It's made using single crochet and then front post double crochet come down forming the basket weave. So this pattern is a multiple of 12 plus 9. So very, very simple pattern. Very, very nice if you just want to make a baby blanket, a textured afghan, or just a scarf or something simple. I have my three samples. The first one is the solid white. This one I made using the Red Heart Super Saver in just plain white. And you can see how definitely it stands out using a plain color. My second sample I also made using Red Heart Super Saver. This is the color number 3959 Lovey. So that's a beautiful multi-colored print, kind of nice for a baby afghan. And like I said, you can see the difference between the white where it really stands out and then this kind of not so predominant. The third sample, I actually used a chunky weight yarn. I still use the 10J 6mm hook, but I use, this is Premier's Yarn Puzzle. Very, very beautiful blending of colors in their puzzle yarn. I just love that yarn. So this is that sample. So if you're going to follow along to learn this stitch today, you're going to need a worsted weight yarn, and you're going to need a size 10J crochet hook, 6mm, or whatever yarn or hook you want to use. So I'm going to get my chain started. We're going to need a chain of 32. So get your chain 32 ready and I'll be right back and we'll start this simple pattern. I have my chain 32 ready and I'm using this perfect pink. Very beautiful color of pink using Red Heart Super Saver. It's color number 706, perfect pink. Very, very beautiful color of pink. Okay, so we have our chain 32 ready. Let me zoom up a little. This is going to be a very easy row. We're going to single crochet in each chain across. So we're going to skip this first chain here. We're going to insert our hook into that second chain from hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. You just made your first single crochet. Insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made another single crochet. I'll show you one more time, step by step. Find your next chain, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, you have two loops, yarn over the hook and pull it through two chain. You made a single crochet. So all you're going to do across is you're just going to find your next chain, insert your hook and work a single crochet. Find your next chain, insert your hook, and work a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that across. You're going to be working in each chain, and when you get to the last chain here, you also work in this last chain. So I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm over to the end of row one. I have one chain remaining. This is the last chain here. And if you notice, we have our little bar going across. That's how you tell when you're at your last chain. So insert your hook into that last chain and work a single crochet. Row one is complete. That's what your work should look like. And you should have a total of 31 single crochet across. So now we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain one turn your work. You're going to skip this 
starting chain one. You never work in that, that chain. You always go into your first single crochet stitch here. So skip the chain one, insert your hook into that very first single crochet and work a single crochet. This is going to be another single crochet row. So you're just going to insert your hook into that next stitch. If you're not sure where your stitch is, these bars going across the top is an indicator of this is the next stitch, this is the next stitch. And if you're still not sure, just turn your work ever so slightly. Look for your little heart-shaped loops. This is your next stitch. This is your next stitch. This is your next stitch. And that's how you can see your stitches. So insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Repeat across to the end of the row and I will meet you at the end of row two. I am over at the end of row two. I have one stitch remaining and I always like to show how I end my rows because the biggest problem new crocheters have is not being sure where the end or the start of the row is. So again, if you look at your stitch, you can see you have this stitch here. And I always tell everybody to look for your rainbow at the end of the row to help show you where that last stitch is. So when you go into this last stitch, there's always a little strand of yarn that goes across like a rainbow. It just goes up and around. I call it the rainbow. You can call it whatever you want to call it, uh, an end bar or whatever. But there's just this little strand here. And when you see that, you know that you're at the end of the row. That's This is your last stitch here. So go ahead and work a single crochet in that last stitch. So row two is finished. We're going to start row three. So we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. We're going to skip this first chain one space. You never work in that chain one space. You're going to insert your hook into that next single crochet, the very first single crochet. So skip the beginning chain one. Look for your beginning single crochet insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet in the next stitch in the row below. So this is your next stitch and we're going down to the row below. So this is your first single crochet here. This will be your second. That's the one we're going to work in. Yarn over the hook, come down go from front to back and back to front around the post of that stitch yarn over the hook pull it around the post of that stitch you have three loops on your hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops only yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops now you'll be skipping the single crochet behind the front post double crochet just worked so you skip this stitch and you will single crochet into the next stitch so insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet one row below. So here's your next single crochet and we're going into the one one row below. So we're going to skip this single crochet here because you can see you just worked your front post double crochet in this one. You're going to skip this one and you're going to work in this one. So yarn over the hook, front to back, back to front, around that next single crochet two rows below. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, three loops on hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. We're going to skip the single crochet behind the one we just worked and we're going to work a single crochet into this next single crochet on your current row. So insert your hook in that next single crochet and work a single crochet. We need to do one more 
set of the front post double crochet and then the single crochet for our set of three across. So yarn over the hook. You're going to skip this next single crochet and you're going to single crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. And like I said, when you're looking at your work, sometimes it's hard to see with the single crochet. So you worked in this one, you're going to skip the next single crochet and you'll be working in this one. So you yarn over the hook, insert from front to back, back to front around that single crochet, two rows below, yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. We're going to single crochet into this next single crochet in the current row. So insert your hook in that next single crochet and work a single crochet. So that is your first part of your basket weave stitch working across. So now we're going to single crochet in each of the next six single crochet across on the current row. So insert your hook into that next single crochet and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into that next single crochet and work a single crochet. That's four. Insert into this next single crochet and work a single crochet. That's five. Insert into this next single crochet and work a single crochet. And that's six. So now we're going to start our repeat all over again. We're going to work the front post double crochet in the next stitch in the row below. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to do that three times across. So, yarn over the hook. You're going to skip this top single crochet. You're going to follow it one row below, go from front to back and back to front around that single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it around the post of that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. We're going to work a single crochet into this next single crochet on the current row. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet in the single crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. Again, this is where you worked your, your last front post double. So there should be one that you skip and then you're going into this next one. So yarn over the hook, go from front to back, back to front, around that next single crochet two rows below, and you're going to work a, a double crochet. So three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, pull through two loops only, yarn over the hook, and pull through two loops. We're going to work a single crochet into the next single crochet of the current row. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. We need one more front post double crochet for our set of three. So we're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. Look to see where you made your last front post double crochet. You skip that stitch underneath the single crochet you just made and we're working into the next. Yarn over the hook front to back, back to front, around the post of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, and you're going to work a single crochet in the next single crochet of your current row. You just made your second repeat of your basket stitch. You have a set of three here of the front post double, you work your single crochet and then you have your next set of three front post double. So we're going to repeat that one more time. I'm just going to go right across the row with you until you get the hang of that stitch. So we're going to single crochet in each of the next 
six single crochet on the current row. Insert your hook into that next single crochet and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the next stitch on the current row and work a single crochet. That's two. Insert your hook into that next single crochet of the current row. Work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into the next single crochet of the current row and work a single crochet. That's four. Insert into the next single crochet of the current row and work a single crochet. That's five. Insert into the next single crochet of the current row and work a single crochet. That's six. So now we're going to go ahead and start our repeat of the front post double crochet in the next stitch two rows below then we're going to work a single crochet in the current row and we're going to do that three times so yarn over the hook we're going to go from front to back to and back to front around the post of the next single crochet two rows below yarn over the hook pull it around the post of that stitch three loops on hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops only yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops we're going to single crochet in the next single crochet of the current row. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. Yarn over the hook, go from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it around that post, three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. We're going to work a single crochet into this next single crochet of the current row. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. Yarn over the hook, front to back, back to front, around that single crochet two rows below around the post of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, three loops on hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You're going to pull this end out, you're going to look for that last stitch, I can see the little rainbow here, I'm going to insert my hook into that last stitch, and look for your rainbow. Right here is that bar, so you know that is your last stitch. So always look for this little bar here and work your single crochet. Now that was probably the hardest row of this pattern because when you do the front post double crochets in the next couple rows, you're actually going to be working whoops, underneath the actual stitch, which makes it a lot easier than going down into that single crochet. So it'll get easier. Okay, so for row four, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. We're going to chain one, and we're going to turn our work. We're going to skip this beginning chain one space and we're going to insert our hook into that beginning single crochet. So insert your hook into that first single crochet and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. So go ahead and work your single crochet across your row in each stitch across and I will meet you at the end of row four. I'm at the end of row four. I have one stitch remaining. I'm inserting my hook underneath that little heart loop on top under those two strands. And if you look, you can see this bar going across. That is the end of your row. So when you're working across, just look for that rainbow bar and that helps tell you you're at the end of your row and work a single crochet. This is the back of your work and this is what your work should look like. So for row five, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. 
Now row five will be a little easier to work. We're going to skip this beginning chain one space, never work in that chain one space. We're going to insert our hook into this beginning single crochet and you're going to work a single crochet. We're going to start our pattern working the front post double crochet. We're going to work it around the post of this front double crochet. Then we're going to come up and work a single crochet on the current row, a front post double crochet around this next front post double crochet, and then a single crochet up on the current row, front post double crochet around the front post double crochet, and then come up and work a single crochet on the current row. So yarn over the hook. You're going to come down and find your front post double crochet is here. We're going to go right underneath that post. You're not going to go all the way through the fabric. You're just going to go underneath this post. So if you can kind of see, we're just going underneath the stitch itself around the post. And we're going to work a double crochet. you're going to come up to the top and you're going to work a single crochet into this next single crochet on your current row. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. You're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this front post double crochet two rows below. So yarn over the hook. You're going to insert it right underneath the stitch. Do not go through the fabric to the back. You're just going underneath the stitch itself. Let me see. Just underneath that post of that stitch. So you're just underneath it. And you're going to work a double crochet. You're going to single crochet into the top of the next single crochet of the current row. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to come down and we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this front post double crochet stitch here. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook underneath the post of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through the post of that stitch, three loops on hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. We're going to single crochet in the next single crochet on the current row. We're going to single crochet in each of the next single crochet across the top row. Insert your hook in the next stitch and work a single crochet. That's one. Insert into the next single crochet of the current row and work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet. That's three. Insert into the next single crochet of the current row and work a single crochet. That's four. Insert into the next single crochet of the current row and work a single crochet. That's five. Insert into the next single crochet of the current row and work a single crochet. That's six. So we're going to start our repeat again with the front post double crochet stitches. Yarn over the hook. You're going two rows below and you're going to insert your hook underneath the post of that front post double crochet and you're going to work a double crochet. You're going to work a single crochet in the next single crochet on the top row of your current work. Insert and work a single crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next front post double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook underneath the post of that stitch, and work a double crochet. We're going to single crochet in the next single crochet in the top row of your current work. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next front post double crochet two rows below. 
yarn over the hook insert it underneath the post of that front post double crochet two rows below yarn over the hook pull it around the post of that stitch you have three loops on your hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops only yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops I just worked my last front post double crochet around our second set of our basket stitches to start our pattern. So now we're going to single crochet into that next single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six single crochet of the current row. Insert your hook in that next stitch and work one single crochet single crochet into the next stitch that's two single crochet into the next stitch that's three single crochet into the next stitch that's four single crochet into the next stitch that's five single crochet into the next stitch that's six so now we're going to repeat our front post double crochet and our single crochet across the last section of our basket weave. So yarn over the hook, insert it underneath the front post double crochet two rows below, just underneath the post, and work a double crochet. We're going to single crochet into that next single crochet of the current row. We're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet two rows below. Yarn over the hook. Insert your hook underneath the post of that next front post double crochet two rows below and work a double crochet. You're going to single crochet into the next single crochet of the current row on top. We're going to work a front post double crochet underneath the post of this last front post double crochet across. So yarn over the hook. Insert your hook underneath that front post double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work a double crochet. Now we're going to work a single crochet in our last single crochet of the top current row. So insert your hook into that last stitch you'll see your little rainbow bar telling you that's your last stitch and you're going to work a single crochet. And let me zoom out a little and this is what your piece should look like at this point. You have three sections of the basket weave stitch started. So row six will be another easy row of just single crochet. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. We're going to skip this beginning chain one space. We're going to insert our hook into this first single crochet. And you're going to work a single crochet. You're going to insert your hook into that next stitch. And you're going to work a single crochet. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat across one single crochet in each stitch across. I will meet you at the end of row six. I'm at the end of row six and I'm working my last single crochet into my last stitch. So I'm inserting my hook into that last stitch. I'm looking for my rainbow little bar, which is here. You can see it going across. And it's very important that newbies kind of watch for these little things to know where the end of your row is because that's where you have the most trouble. Go ahead and work your single crochet into that last single crochet across. This is the back of your work. This is what it should look like. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. 
So for rows seven and eight, you're going to go back and you're going to repeat rows five and six. Row five is where you're going to work the front post double crochet in the front post double crochet below and work a single crochet in the row above. And you're going to work row five again and then you will work row six which is a simple single crochet row that you bring back. So go ahead and repeat rows five and six and that will take you to the end of row eight and I will meet you at the end of row eight. I'm over at the end of row eight and I'm getting ready to work my last single crochet across. I'm going underneath my two strands of that last stitch. Here's my little rainbow bar to tell me I'm at the end of the row and I work my last single crochet. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. So now for row 9, 11, and row 13, we're going to be working our front post double crochet between our section here. So let me grab my sample. You just finished this first section here. Now the next section, we're going to be working our front post double crochets in between the rows below and this is what forms your basket weave pattern. So that's what we're going to start now. So we're going to skip, whoops, we're going to skip our first chain one space, never, never, never work in that chain one space. We're going to find our first single crochet stitch here, insert your hook, and we're going to work a single crochet in each one of the first seven stitches. So yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, two loops on hook, yarn over the hook, and pull through two loops. You just worked your first single crochet. We need a total of seven. This is the first. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's two. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. That's three insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's four insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's five insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet that's six insert your hook into the next single crochet and work a single crochet and that is seven so now we're going to start with our front post double crochet. <clears throat> you already know how to do it, so I'm just going to tell you and then ex instead of explaining it step by step. Here's our next single crochet. We're going to go down and we're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. So yarn over the hook insert it around front to back back to front around that stitch and you're going to work a double crochet single crochet in the next single crochet in the top current row we're going to front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below yarn over the hook Insert your hook front to back, back to front, around that single crochet stitch, and work a double crochet. You're going to single crochet into the next single crochet of the top current row. We're going to front post double crochet around the next single crochet, two rows below. Yarn over the hook. Insert your hook front to back, back to front, around that single crochet stitch, two rows below, and work a double crochet. We're going to work a single crochet into the top of the next single crochet stitch. Now we're going to start and we're going to work a single crochet in each one of the next single crochet on the top of the current row. 
So insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that's one. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that's two. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet, that's four. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet, that's six. So now we're going to repeat this section again. So we're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook front to back, back to front around that single crochet two rows below and work a double crochet. Single crochet into that next single crochet in the top current row. We're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below Yarn over the hook, insert from front to back and back to front around that single crochet two rows below and work a double crochet. You're going to work a single crochet into the next single crochet in the top current row. We're going to work a front post double crochet in the next single crochet two rows below. Yarn over the hook. Insert your hook front to back, back to front, around the post of that single crochet two rows below, and work a double crochet. We're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to single crochet in each of the last six single crochet of our row, in the top current row. So insert your hook and work a single crochet in the next stitch, that's one. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet is two. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that's three. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that's four. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into that last stitch. You can see your little rainbow bar going across here and work a single crochet. You just completed your first row in between, starting your next section of front post double crochet in the basket weave stitch. So now we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work, and this should be row 10 and we're going to work a single crochet in each stitch across. So skip your first chain one, do not work in that chain one space, go down and find your first stitch, insert your hook into that first single crochet, and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch, and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch, and work a single crochet. Go ahead and repeat a single crochet, just one single crochet in each stitch across. I'll meet you at the end of row 10. I'm over at the end of row 10 and I'm working my last single crochet into the last stitch across. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. We're going to skip this beginning chain one space and we're going to single crochet in each of the first seven stitches. So skip the chain one, insert your hook into this first single crochet stitch and work your first single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that is two. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that's number three. Insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet, that's four. Insert your hook into the next single crochet and work a single crochet, that's five. 
insert into the next single crochet and work a single crochet that's six insert your hook into this next single crochet and work a single crochet and that's seven we just worked our seven single crochet across and now we're getting ready to work our front post double crochet into the front post double crochet two rows below so yarn over the hook insert underneath the post of that front post double crochet two rows below and you're going to work a double crochet you're going to single crochet into the next single crochet in the top current row you're going to work a front post double crochet in the next stitch two rows below which is your front post double crochet so yarn over the hook insert it just underneath the post of that stitch and work a double crochet you're going to single crochet into the next single crochet in the top current row you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch two rows below which is your front post double so yarn over the hook insert your hook underneath the post of that stitch and work a double crochet you're going to work a single crochet into the next single crochet of your top current row and that was the repeat of your basket weave stitch in the center of the previous ones below so now we're going to start our repeat again we're going to single crochet in each of the next six single crochet across of the top current row insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet that's one single crochet in the top of the next stitch and work a single crochet that's two insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's three insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's four insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's five insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's six now we're going to start and work our front post double crochet in the front post double crochet two rows below and then work our single crochet in the top current row so yarn over the hook insert your hook in the front post double crochet two rows below and work a double crochet single crochet into the next single crochet of the top current row yarn over the hook we're going to insert our hook from front to back and back to front around the post of that front post double crochet two rows below underneath that next stitch and work a double crochet you're going to single crochet in the next single crochet in the top current row we're going to work a front post double crochet in this next front post double crochet two rows below underneath the next stitch yarn over the hook insert your hook underneath that next front post double crochet and work a double crochet single crochet into the next single crochet of the top current row and then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six single crochet to end our row so insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's one insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's two insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's three insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet that's four insert into the next stitch 
and work a single crochet, that's five. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet, that's six. So that would have been row 11. So now this is what your work should look like. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. Row 12, we're going to be working a single crochet row. We're going to skip this beginning chain one space. We're going to find our first stitch, insert into that first stitch, and work a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Go ahead and work across row 12, working one single crochet in each stitch across to the end, and I will meet you at the end of row 12. I'm over at the end of row 12, which this is the back side of your work. This is what your work should look like. And we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. So for rows 13 and 14, you're going to go back and repeat rows 11 and 12. You will work one row of where you're doing the front post double crochet and the front post double crochet and a single crochet in the top row. So go back, repeat row 11, and then you're going to repeat row 12. So I will meet you at the end of row 14. So go ahead and repeat rows 11 and 12 again, and I'll meet you at the end of row 14. I'm at the end of row 14, and this is the back of your work. So you're going to chain one, and you're going to turn your work. So now you can see you worked your first section. This is a two section repeat. So for this pattern you're going to go back and you're going to repeat rows 3 through 14 for your pattern. So again the repeat is rows 3 through 14 and you should always end with a single crochet row. So I hope you enjoyed spending some time crocheting with me today. This is the simple basket weave stitch, the simple way of making it. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Happy crocheting, everyone.